Hi everyone, my name is Anna. For those of you who don't know me and for those of you who are familiar with who I am, welcome back to our clarinet scale tutorial series here on makingmusicmag.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play the A major scale on the clarinet and be sure to tune in next week with Cassidy because she's going to be showing you how to play the relative minor scale to the A major scale which is the F sharp minor scale. So if you want to see that, be sure to come back next week. Now the A major scale has three sharps, which are F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. So instead of playing those natural, we're going to be raising them up a half a step. All right, so with all that being said, let's move on to the A major scale. All right, so the A major scale is going to start off with the lower note A. So A on the clarinet is going to be one, two, three, right here on the left hand, and one, two on the right hand, plus this back keyhole right here. Your thumb is gonna rest there the entire time. So this is A. <laughs> Next, we're going to be playing B, which all we're doing is just lifting that first finger of the right hand up, and we're holding the middle finger down on the right hand, and everything else on the left stays down. This is B natural. Next comes C sharp. So we're still going to have these three fingers down, plus this little fork key right here. So this little fork key is going to allow us to raise the pitch from a C natural to a C sharp, which is what we are aiming for in the scale. So this right here is C sharp. After C sharp comes D natural, so we're just going to lift that pinky as well as lift the third finger so that only these two are down, and this is going to be D. So now that we've learned the first four notes, we're almost halfway done with the first octave. So we're going to go back down to A and play A, which is these three and these two. Lift the first finger. This is B, natural. Lift that. And then press your pinky on that fork key, which is C sharp. And then lift those two bottom fingers and stop at D. So we're playing A, B, C sharp, D, like so. From D, we're going to go to E, and we're just lifting that second finger so that only the first finger here and the back keyhole are covered. This is E. After we play E, we're going to be playing F sharp, so we are actually going to be lifting the back thumb hole right there so that only this first finger right here is pressed down on that first key. This is F sharp. Next we are going to be playing G sharp, so all we're doing is switching from this key right here, F sharp, to the side key on the clarinet right here. We're only holding this down, and this will allow us to play G sharp instead of G natural. So this is what it sounds like. And finally, we're playing A, which is the last note in the first octave. So A is just going to be this front key right here on the clarinet. So we're switching from our side key here to our front key right here. We're holding that down and that's going to be our A. So going back to D, remember we stopped at D, we're going to lift that bottom finger and play E, lift the back keyhole thumb right there, and this is F sharp. Next, we're just going to move our pointer finger a little bit to the side. This is G sharp, and then we're playing A by switching our pointer finger to that front key right there. So D, E, F sharp, G, A. Now going back to the very beginning, remember all three fingers are down here, plus one and two and back keyhole. 
we're gonna lift the first finger of the right hand so that only the middle finger is pressed down. Everything else is down as well. This is B. Lift that, but make sure we're now pressing on this little fork key, which will allow us to play C sharp. Lift those two bottom fingers. This is D. Lift that bottom finger. This is E. Lift the back thumb hole. This is F sharp. Move the pointer finger to the side. This is G sharp, and then Again, move that pointer finger to the front, and this is A. So now we're going to play the whole thing from the beginning. <laughs> first octave of the A major scale. So now that we've learned the first octave, let's move on to the second octave. So the first note in the second octave is the very last note that we left off in the first octave. So again, we're going to be playing this front key right here on the clarinet to start off the second octave. So this is again A. <laughs> So next comes B, so in order to play B, all of our fingers are down and our pinky is going to be down as well on one of these two keys. The way I like to play it is have my pinky down on this note right here. But for an alternate fingering, you can also have this key pressed down as well and this will also be B natural. But I personally like to have my pinky down on this side because it makes switching pinkies to the next note easier for me. But everybody's different, so I'm just showing you the alternate fingerings in case you want to play it the other way as well. So this is B. Next comes C sharp again. So I like to go from playing B here to switching pinkies and playing C sharp by having my pinky pressed down on this key right here. Everything else stays exactly the same. Or you can play C sharp by having your pinky pressed down on this key as the alternate fingering option. Either way, they're both C sharp and this is what they're gonna sound like. Next comes D. So all we're doing is lifting that pinky, whichever pinky you used, and everything else stays down. So these three are down, these three are down, and then the back and register key are down as well. This is D. So starting from A in the second octave, we're going to play A, B natural. Remember, my pinky is here, but you can also play B with your pinky here as well. We're switching pinkies, and I'm playing C sharp this way but you can play it this way as well. And then lift your pinky and stop at D. Next comes E. So all we're gonna do is lift that bottom finger up. Everything else stays down. And this is E. Next comes F sharp. So we're just going to be lifting that first finger up and leaving this down, and this is going to be F sharp, kind of like how we played B natural in the first octave. Next is G sharp, and this is going to be the exact same fingering as C sharp in the first octave. All we're doing differently is adding that register key right here. Remember, it's these three fingers down plus this little fork key right here. This is G sharp. And finally, next comes octave A. So all we're doing is lifting these two fingers. This is how we played D in the lower octave. But now that we've added the register key, we're actually playing A. And that is the last note in the second octave. Now remember we stopped at D last time, so we're playing from D to octave A. So all we're doing is just lifting the fingers one by one. So this is D, one, two, three, one, two, three, back and register key. That's D, we're gonna lift that bottom finger. That's E, we're gonna lift the first finger up here. This is F sharp and then lift that whole hand and press this pinky down on that fork key. 
This is G sharp. And then finally, lift that as well as the third finger down. This is A. So we're playing D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. <laughs> playing the second octave slowly starting from this A right here. And that is the second octave. So now let's put it all together starting from the very beginning. If you need to rewind this video to kind of review some of the notes in case you forgot, please do so and then come back to this part of the video where we can play both octaves together slowly. I'm going to stand while we play this so that you can better see what the notes are. <laughs> you just learned how to play both octaves of the A major scale on the clarinet. That's a major accomplishment. So now that you've learned how to play the A major scale, be sure to come back next week where Cassidy is going to be showing you how to play the relative minor scale to this major scale, which is F sharp minor. So you don't want to miss out on that, so be sure to come back next week. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a while. And I will see you on the next scale tutorial video. Bye, everyone.